Hello, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Firhat and I'm the PSLE Science Specialist here from the PIG Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of electricity. I've put this question in a handout and you can download a copy for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. Let's get started. Jordan was given a switch, some wires, two batteries, and three similar bulbs X, Y, and Z. He set up a circuit which was hidden in a shoebox, leaving only the bulbs exposed. So from the top of the shoebox, you can only see the three bulbs, and they're supposed to predict how these bulbs are connected by wires. To help us do that, Jordan removed one bulb at a time, and he recorded which bulbs remain lit in this table here. Now let's just think of one possible arrangement. If all the bulbs are joined in series with the two batteries, like this, now these bulbs are all on the same electrical pathway. If I were to remove one bulb from the circuit, like this, will any remaining bulbs light up? No, they cannot, as removing the bulb like this will create an open circuit, and electricity is not able to flow through the other bulbs. We will not have any other bulbs lit up, like what Jordan observed in his table here. So we know that the series arrangement is not a possible answer. Let's erase this. So when Jordan removed bulb X, like this, he observed that bulb Y remained lit. So can bulb Y be on the same pathway as bulb X? No, it cannot. In fact, it is on a different pathway. Let's write it down. Now let's erase this for the next bulb that Jordan removed. When he removed bulb Y, like this, both X and Z remain lit. So are X and Z on the same pathway? Yes, they are definitely on the same pathway. Let's write it down. Now, when Jordan removed bulb Z, like this. He observed bulb Y remain lit. And this confirms our first conclusion that Y was on a different pathway from X and now from bulb Z. Let's draw the circuit diagram. I will draw in the positions of the three bulbs first. So this is bulb Z. And I'm going to draw bulb Y here. Now, what must these three bulbs need for them to light up? Yes, they need batteries as a source of electricity. And the question states that two batteries are given. So I'm going to draw two batteries at the side here. Now let's connect the bulbs with wires. Remember, X and Z are on the same pathway. So let's join them with one wire first. And what about bulb Y? Bulb Y was on a different pathway, so I'm going to use a different wire to connect bulb Y. Now let's link up all three bulbs with the battery. And we get our arrangement like this. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the links on the right hand side. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!